In the mountains of Yilan, health care can be a tricky business. There are some remote villages where there is still no regular health care, but one team of doctors is determined to change that. Led by Dr. Huang Jiancai, the voluntary clinic travels to villages up and down Yilan, providing medical care to anyone who needs it. We spoke to Dr. Huang and met his patients as well as his former teacher, who, to find out more about his mission to bring medicine to the mountains. A doctor's car winds between paddy fields and the streets of country towns and finally arrives at the community center in Le Shui village. <laughs> it's been turned into a medical center, today ringing with the sounds of laughter. Lots of folk have turned up to see the doctor specially. Most of the residents of Le Shui are farmers, used to a life of hard work in the fields. Many have knee problems, some have liver disease and need long-term treatment or monitoring. Yilan County is so close to Taipei, but despite apparently simple transport links, some villages still have no medical provision. Many of these older adults have no reliable access to doctors, and that can mean they delay getting checkups. But the new voluntary clinic is a big improvement. In his black-rimmed glasses, Dr. Huang asks about his patient's health. Years ago, he opened a clinic in Ilan after graduation. One day, a patient came in with late-stage liver disease. They hadn't seen a doctor about it because they lived in a mountainous village with little medical services. That's when Huang realized how tough things were and decided to begin the voluntary clinic. I'm so grateful to the voluntary team of doctors, nurses and volunteers who have come with me into these remote spots. At first, Huang was alone, with nothing but a junior doctor's bag and a stethoscope. Over time, more volunteers joined his team. Nine years later, the team has visited many country locations, winning awards from the Elan Doctors' Union, as well as the Keep Walking Prize, an award for charitable projects. Huang's teacher from university told us how proud he felt. As the saying goes, the student has surpassed the teacher. The Elan Doctors' Union has already awarded him the Doctor's Merit Prize seven times. He's given more than 30 years of his life to Elan. He really is an unbelievable young man. In the future, we want to establish the first remote voluntary clinic association in Elan so that we can reach any place that needs health care. No matter how high the mountain or how remote the lane, Dr. Huang's team is on a mission to care for everyone who needs it all across Elan.